Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art, and I'm back this week to share a fun project, clean and simple project, using the Joyful Flurry stamp set. We're also going to be using kind of a non-traditional color palette to create a fun and very clean and simple gift card holder. So um, I wanted to point out a couple of things. We're, I'm going to be sharing a couple of bumped up projects that use a similar technique um, today. We're going to be using some isopropyl 99% medical grade alcohol. Now this is normal rubbing alcohol, but it's not the kind that you would normally find in your drugstore. Um, usually pharmacies carry like a 70% concentration. The 99% concentration works the best, I think, for this technique because it's so, it has such a high evaporation rate that it works beautiful for this project. So um, I highly recommend the 99%. You can probably get this at your local pharmacy if it's big enough, or maybe your local like Target or Walmart. Um, and you can always check Amazon too, because I think you can get it there. <clears throat> but anyway, we're going to be using that alcohol mixed with some of our inks. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be using kind of a non-traditional color palette today to create this card. But I think you'll see it's really pretty. It gives kind of a sort of a frosty, wintry look to it anyway, even though the colors aren't quite the Christmassy that you normally see. So we're going to be using Joyful Flurry. This is one of my favorite new stamp sets that I picked out of the <clears throat> July to December mini catalog from Stampin' Up. It has some really pretty, delicate snowflake images, um, some gorgeous sentiments for inside and outside your cards. And we're going to also be using a panel of vellum cardstock that I embossed with the Quatrefoil tile embossing folder. And um, I highly recommend this particular folder for this technique, but you would really, if you have vellum and you have embossing folders and you've got some ink and some alcohol, I would highly recommend you trying this technique with any embossing folder that you have, just to give it a try, because it really is very fun. And I'm gonna show it to you in a second. One of the, um, the embellishment for this card is going to be these beautiful, uh, wonderful snowflakes. And these can be found in the July to December mini catalog on page 45. I'll just point them out to you. Um, right here, they're kind of showcasing them right here in the catalog. So you can see that they're they're kind of on the same page as the moose and the raccoon and the bunny stamp set. And um, they're $6, you get 24 pieces. These are a carryover from last year's holiday catalog. And I love these as embellishments. They're really, really pretty on any kind of snowflake card. We're also gonna be using Actually, we're not using this, but I'm going to be showing this on one of the bumped up versions of the card, the wonderful, I'm sorry, the Snowflake 12 by 12 Specialty Vellum. And I have that to share with you, so I'll give you a tiny close-up of this. We're not using it on the card project I'm making, but I'm going to show you two bumped up versions of this card where I do use this vellum. Now, it's really pretty. It's got foils. So this is foiled and embossed. So there's a little bit of a texture to this, and it's like little foil snowfall. And then we've got some sheets that have beautiful foil, like real iridescent foil um, and larger snowflake patterns. And then um, there's also a, a sheet here that's two sheets that are flocked. So this has a soft, fuzzy, flocked snowflake um, pattern to it. So this, this paper, is this vellum is really, really gorgeous for card making. And um, if you had to pick one specialty paper out of the, the holiday catalog this year, I would definitely pick this one. This is very versatile and it's beautiful if you love snowflakes and have um, snowflake stamp set and dies and whatnot that you're gonna be using to craft with this holiday season. So I'm gonna set the stamp set aside for now and the embossing folder because I've actually already embossed this panel. I'm gonna be pulling in my silicone mat so for this one, for this card, let's just work on the card base for a second and I'll show you, um, actually, let's get the technique going because this is gonna need a little bit of time to dry. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I, I chose a three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch panel of vellum and, and I embossed it in the embossing folder. And now I'm gonna, this is the raised side and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna work on the back, which is um, debossed. And I'm gonna take some of my alcohol and I'm just gonna put it here in a little dish. So you're just gonna need a couple tablespoons of that. And let me see, I have a paintbrush here that I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna open up 
a few of my ink pads and I'm going to be giving them each a squeeze so that I have a little um, blob of color in the lid that I can work with. And I'm using Calypso Coral and Coastal Cabana and Daffodil Delight. And let's see here. Get some stuff out of the way. And this is not a stamp heavy card or technique. This is really more just kind of a coloring painting technique, but it's very quick and easy. I would definitely think this falls into like a quick and easy category um, for those of you who like a technique but don't want it to really take all day. So what I'm gonna do here is wet my brush really well, and you'll see that it's on the silicone mat just to protect my surface. And I'm going to, um, I'm gonna work on the diagonal and I'm just going to brush on some alcohol onto this vellum cardstock. And I'm doing it just sort of from about here down to the, the other corner. And now I'm going to start adding some of my ink. So I'm just going to kind of wet my palette, my brush, and then moisten it, my brush, with the, um, with the ink color. And I'm just going to kind of paint in some a little bit of this color onto my cardstock here. And I'm just sort of painting it in different areas. And then I'm going to clean the brush and I'm going to pick up another color. I'm just going to moisten that color and then kind of dab that color in here. And then I'm going to pick up a third color. Add a little bit more alcohol to the ink just so that it spreads a little bit better. And you just can experiment with this. It's kind of fun to experiment. And every one of these looks different, which is always fun. And I'm gonna pick up the red, the Calypso Coral, and just dab that in. And you just wanna keep it kind of wet and loose. And I'm just kind of dabbing it here and there. No real rhyme or reason to it, I would say. And then, um, let's see here. Now I'm gonna set this aside to dry and then we'll bring it in and I'll show you what it looks like later. But for now, I'm just gonna close up most of these ink pads. So the green and the coastal and the yellow are all gonna get, and I'm just gonna leave this one open for a few minutes and we'll move all of this painting stuff off to the side now while that dries. And we're gonna move on to some of the other components. So this is gonna be the little panel for the inside of the gift card holder. And so I'm going to pull in my basic gray ink pad and I have a sentiment for the inside. So we'll pull that out and add it to a block. And I'm just gonna stamp that down here like this. And then we're going to use the um, Calypso Coral, and I'm going to add a couple of snowflakes on here, just like that, for the inside panel. And now we can close these up. And we'll bring in our base panel. And I'm just going to wave this around a little bit. The nice thing is that when you're using that high concentration of alcohol, it evaporates and dries up pretty quickly. So we should be able to use this when we're ready for it. So now to create the gift card holder pocket, this is one of my kind of go-to gift card holders. It's just so wicked simple and quick. So you take um, a normal uh, eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock and you score it at four and a quarter, but um, you also score it at one and three quarters. So I usually lay it on my trimmer, score it at one and three quarters, then move it over and score it at four and a quarter. And um, I get like a normal, you would normally get like this normal base card like this. But then this creates the, this other score line creates the pocket. So I'm going to fold on that score line. And then on this little section, I'm going to take a one and a half inch circle punch and you can use whatever circle you have in your stash. This is a retired punch, but I would never get rid of this one. I love this size. And I'm just going to punch a 
portion of the circle out so I have like a little finger notch to pull my gift card out of, okay? And now you end up with this fun, kind of this fun fold that creates a pocket in the front and a partial front to your card. Now you can make these as dressy and elaborate as you want. You can put designer series paper on them and really decorate them up nice. We're gonna keep this one really clean and simple today. And it makes, I'm just showing you how you can make it really, really fast, um, make a gift card holder. So now I'm gonna add some wet adhesive just to the inside of this. And you can give a pretty good um, amount of adhesive just to hold it in good. And then I'm just going to hold this for a second so the glue catches. And this creates the little gift card pocket. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna add this little piece to the inside of my card. And I'm just going to lay that in here and kind of center it on the inside like that. And now we'll move on to this little piece that we um, paint, painted. So we added some really pretty color to this and it looks so, so pretty. And especially, it's hard to kind of see through the vellum, but when you mount it on white, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous color? So now I'm going to add some adhesive to this part. And normally what I do is I I add glue to the whole back, just a little bit of glue like this. And then I would get a sponge. I'm gonna get a sponge. Hold on just a second and I'll be right back with the sponge. Okay, so I had to run and grab this sponge, but basically this is just a little wedge that I cut out of one of these bigger sponges. So if you have any of these left over, we used to, Stampin' Up! used to sell these. Um, but they don't anymore, but you can still get them different places. But they work great because, um, as I just showed, you just kind of lay some glue down and then you just want to kind of spread and smear the glue with the sponge. And what's nice about this is you get a little coating of glue all over the surface, but you can't see it through the vellum. So that's just a little tip or trick for using vellum, glue on vellum. And now I'm just going to layer this onto my little panel that I cut. And I left a little white border around the edge. So I kind of cut this at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then the layer panel is um, an extra one eighth of an inch all the way around. So it just leaves this really pretty white border. And then um, you can really see the beautiful colors that kind of blend through this. And I really love the technique. And I hope you do too. It's really fun and very quick and easy, as you can see. Very little cleanup, but it gives a really interesting look to the design. So now we're gonna glue this panel to the front of our card. And I only wanna put adhesive on a portion of this so that I don't glue the card shut. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a couple strips there and I'm gonna center this on the card front. Just like that. There we go. And now when you open the card, you have this really cute gift card holder pocket that you can slide your gift card into. And it just makes for a really easy gift card holder. So let's decorate the front. So again, I'm gonna be pulling in one of these really pretty snowflakes. And I'm gonna use a Stampin' Dimensional to pop that up. And our dimensionals fit right in the center here. Just like this. And I'm going to layer this on right here, just like that. And then I had cut myself a little strip of um, basic white cardstock, and I'm gonna pull out my basic gray ink pad, and I'm gonna add the Happy Christmas sentiment from that stamp set to this panel. That didn't come out so great, let's try that again. There, that's a little bit better. And now I'll just take my scissors and um, actually, no, it isn't. It's still really crooked. <laughs> Let's try it again. Good thing the paper has two sides. There we go. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of trim it. I'm just gonna trim it at an angle on both edges, just for a little different look. And I'm gonna add some little dimensionals to the back.
and then we'll layer this onto the front of the snowflake. And as I said, I'm going to share some bumped up versions of this that came out really good. And we're just going to lay that on there like this. And then um, to embellish it, I think we'll use a couple of different things. We're going to use some white twine. Let me see here. Get my white twine. This is from the basic twine pack in the annual catalog. And I'm just going to make a little bow here. And trim this off with my scissors. I forgot my glue dots in the other room. That's one of the hazards of crafting away from your crafting, your main crafting area is the forgetting of supplies. Um, the light is so much better in this spare bedroom than it is in my studio. So I'm uh, gonna just add a little dot of glue there and attach the bow with my wet glue. So we'll just improvise a little bit. And um, I wanted to pull out the these adhesive back sequins. This is a nice set. These are, I think these are sold with the candy, the candy cane stuff maybe. Um, in the front of the catalog, these embellishments are so pretty. I love the ones in the new, in the mini catalog. Yeah, here they are, the adhesive back seasonal sequins. They're on page nine of the mini catalog and uh, they come in red and green and gold and white and they're very, very pretty, very versatile. They had a really nice pearly shine to everything. And so well, I'm gonna use some of the white ones and um, I do have my take your pick tool, but I don't really need it for these. These are big enough that I can just kind of pick them off with my finger and stick them down. And they're very, very pretty. They had a really nice little sparkle to your the front of your card. So this is the clean and simple version of this card. And I think it came out great. It was very fast and easy to make, but it has kind of a, the technique gives it kind of that wow factor. Let me show you a couple of other ones that I made. So I didn't make gift card holders. I just made a card that has a um, beautiful panel that's completely covered with that same technique. And then I also added, um, I added the same little bow, um, a bigger sentiment, the same snowflake, but then I added, I die cut um, some a vellum snowflake and then a stitch snowflake from last year's um, stitched snowflakes dies. So if you have these from last year, they don't sell these anymore, obviously they're retired, but there were a bunch of different stitched uh, snowflakes in here that were just like detail snowflakes. And so I cut a small one out of vellum using that snowflake. And then I use this one, I think, oh no, this one, to create um, a basic white snowflake. And I added those to my, um, to my card front just to give it some more layers of interest. And this is just a normal card. I stamp the inside a little bit more too. But um, yeah, isn't that pretty? So that's kind of the, that's one of the bumped up versions. And then I also created a fun fold and I used some different colors. So for this one, I brought in, uh, clip, uh, let's see, Coastal Cabana, uh, Granny Apple Green, and Melon Mambo were the colors. And for this one, what I did was, I brought my little silicone mat in. So I had this guy and I had it laid down and I took um, some re-inker. And what I did was I, I smeared some alcohol onto the front of my mat like this. And I put a drop of re-inker in each one of those colors, kind of at a diagonal. Then I took my brush and I added more, um, I added more of this alcohol ink. And I did it just each layer. I did one layer of that, then I rinsed my brush, then I did the next color and rinsed my brush, then I did the third color and rinsed my brush. And then I took my vellum and I just flopped it in there and kind of mushed it around. And um, actually used the back side too. So I had the front side was up and I put the back side into the, into the ink that I had painted on here and just kind of smushed it around and that's what I got. It was a really great and really fun technique. So to finish this card, I created this little fun fold, first of all. So it's this little uh, Z fold. And this panel was mounted again on white. I took a, a piece of that beautiful iridescent um, foiled vellum and I laid, it a, laid a strip of that across the front panel and then mounted this on there and I added a piece of the 
glittered white ribbon underneath the sentiment panel to add some extra sparkle. And I included the iridescent rhinestones on this one instead of those sequins to decorate it up. So another really pretty Christmas card, very magical and wintry, even though it may not be super Christmassy. I felt like this would be a great card for like a New Year's card to send to a friend across the miles. So anyway, these are the cards I created. Again, so there were there was this one and this one, the bumped up versions, and then this clean and simple gift card holder that we made today. So I hope you enjoyed the projects and learning the technique. I'm sure I'll be back next week with another clean and simple card. But in the meantime, I also have some quick and easy card videos online that will showcase some easy ways to use your Christmas stamp sets to create fun and simple Christmas cards that can be made very easily in multiples very quickly. So enjoy and I'll see you next week.